Well, I think it's very important to get the kids at an early age, and I have a couple of things that I like to accomplish. One, I want to expose them to what's possible, particularly in the areas of math, science, and engineering, and oftentimes I find that by showing them pictures of space, that's a great way to do that. But I also want to um, fuel their imagination. I want to help them see themselves working in jobs like that. You know, I was a 10-year-old watching Neil Armstrong walk on the moon for the first time. That became my childhood dream. So another motivation I have is to share with these kids uh, and plant the seed that if I can make it come true, you can make it come true. I'm not really any different than they are. I was willing to work hard, and I spent a lot of time studying math and science. And uh, the reward and the payoff was tremendous. So I want them to realize that even though those classes are hard, it's well worth their time and effort to study math and science and potentially go on to engineering and college and work as an engineer because there's some amazing things that they can be a part of. The space program is simply one example. Yes, the shuttle program is being retired. Um, although astronauts and Russian cosmonauts are on board the space station all the time now, Unfortunately, that doesn't get reported a great deal by the media. So yes, I think it is harder for kids to understand what is going on in the space program. But I also think it's a very exciting time for the kids because there are more and more commercial spaceflight companies that are building their own spacecraft. So actually, it may end up that these kids have more of an opportunity to go work for the space program, be it either the government space program or a private space program, a commercial space program, more opportunities than I had. So I think there are a lot of kids out there in that audience that if they want to have a chance to fly in space, they're going to be able to do it.